okay so the first step is you have to go to the site uh, or if you have downloaded it it's fine if you haven't downloaded go to the site click on download uh, and download the cinnamon edition and uh, go down to see india as a list okay so just click on this link so it will download so then in the, you will get a 2.5 gb uh, iso file okay so something like this okay now open up your virtual box click on new uh, give any name you want then uh, keep this as same unless you want to shift it to another folder you have to move it but uh, normally it's fine if you keep it like this all your virtual boxes will be in this folder okay now choose the iso file uh, which is given which, which, which we just downloaded then uh, check this box and click on next click on next okay so normally what you have to do is uh, you give half of what was the size is for example uh, if you have uh, 16 gb ram just go to the calculator and uh, take for example 8 gb have to allocate right so 8 into 1024 so 8 gb which is 812 or if you have like 4 gb ram 4 into 1024 which is 4096 so in my case, it's uh, 8 GB, I have 16, so I'll give uh, 8 GB RAM, which is 8, 1, 9, 2. Okay. And CPU, it's best to give like uh, just below the green mark. So if you have 8 CPUs, give 3. And if you have like 16 CPUs, give uh, 6. 6 is ma enough in most cases. 6 you give maximum. But uh, always give it below the green line. Don't uh, make it till here. Okay. And don't check this. I wanted to check it. Then click on next. Okay, so this is if you're using only Hadoop, just give it like 30 GB. But perhaps just give if you want, just give 50 GB if you can, or 30 is also fine. Okay, so uh, 30 or 50, whatever is the choice, it's fine. Then next, then you will get the uh, summary of whatever is there and finish. Then after you've done, uh, click on settings, uh, go to advanced, make both of these as by direction, direction from disabled, then click OK. Okay, after this, you can start it. So uh, click on start. So it will show that it is popping up. Uh, also, make try to keep uh, all your resources at a minimum. Like uh, in Windows, try try to close all your tabs except for the virtual box because this will take a lot of RAM. So you don't want to take that much uh, system performance, right? So keep it at a minimum. So it will start powering up. So when you get this screen, just click on enter. Now, uh, when you get this screen, just click on enter. So it will uh, load up the box. Okay. Even if this takes a lot of time, it's fine. It will come up. Okay, so then after you have done this, you'll get an option here, like a CD. Double click on that. So you'll get like an installation wizard to uh, install the Linux mode. Uh, if this loading screen is taking like for more than, for example, five minutes, just double click it again in case it's taking more than five minutes. But just wait for five minutes if it's coming up and see. Okay, so once this comes up, just click on continue. Then again continue. Then uh, try to uh, check this box and then click again continue. So make sure you have a good internet connection because this is taking a lot of internet. And and as I said, try to close all your other tabs because this will use the maximum RAM you have allocated. Okay, then uh, install now. 
uh, don't worry about this. It's so erase your disk. It'll just erase the folder which I've installed in that virtual box. So don't worry about this. Just click install now, and then continue uh, in the next window. Then uh, click Kolkata is make sure it's uh, Kolkata selected. Then click continue again. Okay, so now you can give any name you want here, uh, which is basically going to be your Linux name. Uh, then uh, try to make this as PC so it's easier to remember. And choose any password you want. Make a simple password, maybe one, two, three, four, something. Then uh, click on continue. So now this will take a lot of time, and make sure you have a good internet connection. Uh, this might take a lot of time. So wait for it to complete. And as I said, it will use a lot of RAM, whatever allocated. So make sure no other software is running or uh, no other tabs or anything are open so that we can give priority to this. Okay, so I just skip, uh, I just fast forward the process so that it is easier. Uh, it won't take much time. But you, you might uh, the installation might take longer or lesser time depending on network, disk, or RAM or something. So after you get this screen, click on restart now. Okay, so when you get this, just click on enter. So it's going to restart the uh, Linux Mint uh, virtual machine. Okay, so uh, just type the password you entered when you made the um, profile. Okay, so you get this right now. Uh, then what you have to do is, if you want dark mode, just click this. Uh, that's it. So you have Linux Mint installed now, but you have to make this full screen right now. It's like a small window. So for that, go to Devices, uh, click on this, Insert Guest Addition CD Image. So it will run a terminal and it will install the uh, addition. So let's click on that. So type the same password for the profile. Okay, after this comes up, just click on enter. Okay, now what you have to do is uh, just close it, close, uh, I mean, turn it off, like go here uh, and shut it down. So the whole box will close off now. Okay, now go back to your uh, virtual box. The same virtual machine, just click on start again. Uh, enter the password and now what you have to do is uh, after it loads okay now uh, 
just go hold control hold uh, just click uh, uncheck this box okay now hold control and click on control f like hold control and press f uh, it should be the right control okay in the keyboard there's two control uh, click hold the right control and uh, press f so you'll get this box right uh, click on switch so you'll get the full screen in the box now now if you hold the right control and click f again you can get the windowed mode so you'll get the window here you can access the windows uh, taskbar here and it will be the linux will be in the windowed mode so you can switch between the uh, modes using that right control and f so i can go again uh, to the full screen mode or the windowed mode so full screen mode it will look exactly like the system and you can go to the window mode okay now one more final thing now linux is installed one more final thing I have to do is go to terminal. Just click on here. Then uh, we have to update the package so like we can install Hadoop later. So um, so we have to write this command: sudo apt get update two ampersands. Again, sudo apt get upgrade. First was update. Second is upgrade. Run this command. So this will take a lot of time. Make sure you have a good internet connection. Uh, and run this command. And type the password. And uh, click yes. Okay, so while this is running, I'll just explain uh, how to change. If in case you felt like uh, any time you want to change how much RAM is allocated to it, or how much storage you gave for it, or how much processors you gave, if you want to change it, right now you can see what all you gave here. First, we gave eight GB RAM. We gave three processors, and you gave uh, uh, thirty GB of space, right? Okay, if ever you want to change that, go to settings uh, and click on uh, system. You can change now it is running right so first you have to turn it off turn off the virtual machine then you can change the sliders here you can change the memory you can change how many processes you allocated you can increase or decrease what whenever you want so in case you felt like it was not enough and how to change the storage is you gave 30 gb right so if you want to change anytime the storage go to file click on tools click on virtual media manager and then uh, the, here you can see the size of whatever you are selecting but see, I would change oh, it's 30 right I can change it to anything else uh, by applying here so that's one tip and in case you downloaded uh, the virtual machine accidentally in your C drive which is less in space and if you want to move it to your uh, another drive which is having more space what you have to do is go to file uh, I mean go to machine then you have to click on move uh, make sure all your systems are off go to machine click on move and click on the new folder you want to move it to so it will move all your install virtual machines to the, to that new folder in case you don't have space in that okay so uh, this might pop up this is fine just click on okay And uh, this is fine, just leave it as it is. Uh, just close it. Okay, now that this is installed, right? Now you can go to the update manager and install these three things. Just click on install updates. Then click on OK. Okay, so once everything all that is done, it will uh, say that reboot is required. Just uh, reboot it. So we'll close all this. We'll reboot the system. So just restart.
now uh, after you have restarted uh, open up the terminal again uh, open up the terminal again and type that same command you typed again so if you just click on the up arrow it will come up again so when you type the same command and type enter so now this time uh, you should get that uh, it will read it it will say zero upgraded zero new instant because everything is done already so it will finish up fast and if you go to the update manager now there will be nothing left so now we have like finished configuring linux okay now we can just shut down the system it's all done uh, shut down yeah that's it then just close the virtual box that's it